Hi guys, I'm uh, Jed Rockwell and I work for Swick Sport and uh, I'm here at uh, First Track Ski Shop in Dover, Vermont um, doing a ski tuning presentation for the kids at Mount Snow Academy. People always talk about base bevel and side bevel. We've all heard that, correct? For some people it's like, what are they talking about? Well, basically what you're talking about, you're talking about the angles of your edge, all right? Um, there's a base angle and there's a side angle. Side bevel okay is typically three degrees okay um, so imagine a, a 90 degree angle okay Does everyone know what that is it's basically a wall we hope if it was built correctly and uh, um, what you want to do is that 90 degrees is okay all right but if you start taking degrees off of that 89 88 87 86 you start to develop a sharper point okay and that's what we want in racing we want a sharper point the downside is if you go more than three degrees, four, five, six, sometimes seven, is that you create a really sharp edge, but it dulls very fast. Now, the manufacturers have done a really good job of making sure that the skis basically come out of their finished machines consistent and pretty true to what they're advertising as far as bevels go. Um, but in a lot of cases, you want to be perfect and really uh, concerned about exactly where your skis are. So many people will take their new race skis and, and bring them into a shop like First Tracks. It has awesome machinery back here. Um, and they'll grind the ski down flat again. So basically what they're doing is that they're creating um, a starting point, okay? You hope that it came from the factory with a half degree or one degree, but you don't really know exactly until you flatten the ski again, okay? Once the ski becomes flat, it's your job to put the base bevel back into the, into the, into the ski. Okay. I take a file, all right, in my hand, and I place it inside this file, this file guide, base bevel guide, all right? I'll put it on the tip of the ski, so these little titanium things are acting as my guide, and then I'll just pull down in small, short strokes. I'm not doing big, long ones because the pressure changes as I stretch my body out, and basically I just go back from the tail again and work my way back up to the shovel. So once that's put in, all right, you don't need to be doing this every time you tune your skis, all right? All right, and then it goes to filing the edge, all right? Three degrees is what I decided on the edge. I've got my file and my file guide all set up. I'll start up here in the shovel, and we're really sharpening the skis these days, guys, from tip to tail. So here we go. I'm going to file the side of the ski, and I'm just going to do probably like 10-inch strokes count five where I stop one two three four five okay we have a whole variety of diamond stones I've got some more back here and you can see the packaging they have it's one thing nice about this shop here at first tracks is that these guys carry a pretty extensive line of all of our tuning tools all right they all have different grits 100 600 200 there's a 400 or whatever. So I recommend to you guys, what do, what do I need to buy for a Diamond Stones, Jed? And uh, I'm going to say the 200, because that's when you hit something. That's what you're going to use to knock down all the stuff that's uh, in the way. Um, the 400 is going to help polish that uh, after the 200. And then you work out your way up to like an 800, um, which is really going to provide a really smooth um, finish. So what do I do? I've already used the file. I have a file guide. Three degrees. I'm not changing the degrees. I'll clamp it. And then what I'll do is I'll start in the shovel of the ski. And I'll just go back and forth. Okay. I can't do this with a file. All right. Because the file cuts. This actually polishes. All right. So this is polishing the work that I had just done with the file. You shouldn't be filing your skis every night, okay? You've already done most of that work. What you need to do is when you get off the hill is take your diamond stone, say a medium course or 400, put it back into the guide, all right? You've already done your homework. You've had dinner and all this other good stuff, so you're making everyone else happy. And you just go back to your skis, all right? And I just want you to take the diamond stone and go over your skis just like this before you put them to bed at night. Okay, that's uh, 
filing in a nutshell. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, it's actually, uh, it's actually kind of enjoyable for a lot of people to uh, um, maintain their own skis. So I recommend that you guys all do that. So if you need tuning equipment, come on down to First Tracks. We're at Five Mountain Park Plaza, uh, right across from Dots of Dover, next to the movie theater, post office. You can't miss us. So come on down and get all your tuning needs.